Hello and welcome everyone and happy Monday. This is Martin with Crypto Gains. We're beginning today's discussion talking about Ethereum, which is reaching yet new all-time highs. Now, first of all, we're beginning our discussion with looking at the implied volatility spread between Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's getting higher and higher, implying more interest in trading derivatives based on Ethereum compared with Bitcoin derivatives. Additionally, interest over time is now converging where searches for Ethereum are almost as high as searches for Bitcoin, suggesting that the overall interest of market participants in Ethereum is about to explode by equaling that of Bitcoin, which of course for Ethereum standards is very, very high. And finally, we can also see that the Ethereum active addresses are approaching the, re- the all-time highs reached towards the crypto hype in the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, suggesting that interest in Ethereum is very, very high at the moment. Also, there is this insightful article discussing the fact that we're witnessing supply depletion due to massive exchange withdrawals. And of course, whenever we have supply depletion for market forces to equalize, that's going to drive prices higher. Moreover, the supply of Ethereum in smart contracts versus the balance on exchanges is increasing, which indicates that Ethereum is being put to its original use rather than just used for speculation, giving us confidence in the sustainability of that rally. Moreover, what we can see is that throughout the year, there there have been net outflows of Ethereum out from exchanges, suggesting that people are taking it away from the exchange into cold storage for longer term holding. Of course, we can see some spikes where Ethereum is going to exchanges. This is signified in green, but the majority and the net balance, you you can see there are 10 withdrawals of over 200,000 Ethereum outside of exchanges, suggesting people are going to hold it for the long term. And finally, we can also see that the net transfer volume from and to exchanges is going significantly below zero, indicating once again that very same behavior withdrawing Ethereum into cold storage. So major price corrections don't seem likely at the moment. They're possible, they just don't seem likely. Interesting development for Dogecoin. Finally, it seems that Elon Musk is really going to put Dogecoin on the moon, literally, as it's being accepted for payment by SpaceX, and it's going to travel to the moon with the latest mission. And finally, Tezos is releasing its sixth iteration after the Florence upgrade, giving more uh, functionality to the cryptocurrency and driving prices higher. So let's take a look at the technical charts and see how you can trade some of these insights, beginning with Bitcoin versus Tether. 58,000 is strong support and the pivot point above that level, buying Bitcoin, we targeted 59,000 and 59,500, conversely below 58,000, selling Bitcoin and the nearest support areas are at 57,200 and 56,400. Next, we're moving to Ethereum. Looking at the Ethereum chart, above 4,100, we have very good support and good opportunity to buy Ethereum with the first targeted 4,150 and then charting into new all-time highs with the nearest reasonable targeted 4,200. Conversely, if we break below 4,100, we could see further declines to just about 4,058, 4,050. And then if that level is broken, we can see Ethereum declining and correcting to as low as 3,980. And now let's take a look at Binance Coin, which is also performing very strongly. The pivot point for Binance Coin is 677.5. And above that level, we could be buying Binance Coin. We targeted 689 and then afterwards to a new all-time high at 700. Conversely, below 677.5, we could see declines with the nearest support at 672 and then 668 and 657. And now let's take a look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin has robust support at 0.52. Above that level, we could buy Dogecoin with targets at 0.555 and 0.59. Conversely, if we break below 0.52, we could see declines to 
505 and 0 0.48. This is based on horizontal support and resistance lines, which are even more pronounced on the five minute chart. And it's what I've been using for trading lately as it tends to be one of the most reliable way of trading cryptos. And finally, let's take a look at Tezos. For Tezos, the pivot point is 6.96 above that level. Buying Tezos, we targeted 7.25, then subsequently 7.4. Conversely, if we break below 6.96, declines are likely to 6.8 on the short side and 6.7. Thank you very much for joining me today. Keep learning with the video education section and the Crypto Games Market Insight subsection. Remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for lots of articles and insightful trading ideas. Thanks for joining me today and have a good week. Bye-bye.